Are they there? Are the people there? Oh, sorry. Hey, everybody. Are you out there? We're at Frank and Allie Lee, live from Bryson City, North Carolina. Thank you so much to Melissa for starting this great concert series. From what I understand, this is the very first um, day wow. of her series called Live from the Quarantine. Lucky us. Yes, lucky us indeed. I'm just going to check make sure this is actually working. I hope it is. We're going to start with a piece that's on our brand new album. It came out February 7th. It's on our CD called Treat a Stranger Right. This is our album. Um, so the title song is called Everybody Ought to Treat a Stranger Right. We rolling? I can't tell, so I'm just going to trust that we are. Really happy you're here. You're in our kitchen, actually, and we're sitting in the dining room, turn <laughs> music room, but you guys are sitting in our kitchen. So Have a cup of tea. Right Want to try it? I think so. All right, we'll say like a one, two. Everybody out of treat a stranger right. right. Long way from home. Everybody out of treat a stranger right. Hey, Long way from home. Careful yeah, how you treat a stranger. Find me out and turn him away. Well, if you let him take it. Thank you. 
working together since 2016, friends since 2012. It's the joy of my life to um, get to play music with my husband and my partner. And so next up, what do you want to do, honey? How about Hate the Train? Is that on the program? Ooh, yay! It's not on our CD, but that's not a reason not to play it. We live in a town where we have a great uh, passenger excursion train, the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. And it's a wonderful, fun attraction. But sometimes like there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of traffic, so we get to hate in that train. Just kidding. We learned this from Frank Hutchison. Here it goes. Yo! <laughs> stuff, but this is an old Duolian made by National. You gonna get your banjo well, up? Yeah, I was wondering about uh, where that tuner might be. Okay. We've got a banjo for sale. If anybody um, could really use a banjo in your life, you, there's a lot of online lessons available now. Go play right now on the fiddle. Okay, that'd be fun. Okay. And uh, so this one we've had kind of just sitting around the house, and it's functional. I'll play it so you can hear what it sounds like if you're needing a banjo for a low, low, low price. Just give us a shout. Put in the comments if you want to where you're watching from tonight. It'd be fun to see where everybody is tuning in from. So yeah, you got a small crowd there with you. You can get up and dance a step or two. Might be fun. Oh. I'll miss with you here. All right. On our new album, which was actually the number one most played album on National Folk Radio for the months of January and February. I didn't tell you that. I just found that out today. That it was also number one for February, um, which is like, it's crazy. Anyway, it's got 12 pieces on there, and Frank uh, does play fiddle on a couple. He plays banjo on a bunch. I play banjo on a bunch. Play guitar. We've got some singing on there. A lot of harmony singing is our jam. Um, so, what you want to play? Something from the album or something else? Something that would be fun. Okay, how about uh, Sugar in the Gourd? All right, this is one we learned from John Carson called Sugar in the Gourd. Sugar in the Gourd, and I can't get it out. So this is the way that people used to dance in the mountains before the guitar made their way into the mountains. With metal order catalogs, you could buy guitars. But before that, people had banjos and fiddles, and they would have dances in their homes. You know the same way, uh, old raccoon by the pasta? 
No, we shouldn't do that. No. Let's do Sugar Rain. Sugar Rain. Two, three, go. <laughs> One we learned from a group called the Dykes Magic City Trio, D-Y-K-E-S, Dykes Magic City Trio out of Johnson City, Tennessee, and in their arrangement of a very old song called Frankie and Johnny. They just call it Frankie, so that's what we did too. Frankie, here it goes. Two, three, four. Listen to the Carter family for a while because 
um, the voices are so haunting and their songs are so great. This one is called You Are My Flower. Better double check this. Tunings all changing around with the atmosphere up here, down here. Actually, we're right by a creek. We've got the biggest watershed on the south side of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park is right in our front yard. We live in Bryson City on Deep Creek, which is uh, one of the entrances into the Smoky Mountain Park. And, and that's where the photo was taken on our album cover. This was right there at uh, Deep Creek Campground area in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. So here comes You Are My Flower, right. blooming in the mountains for me. Two, three. out um, in standard tuning on a guitar. You can find R.L. Burnside on YouTube playing the, um, 
playing a lot of great stuff. You got that harmonica in I do. I need to move this right. Here. I'm ready. It's called Reuben tuning, a certain banjo tuning, Reuben tuning. Down a few steps. Here we go with Lost John. Two, three. <laughs> Philip, we call him. He's a, a Philip the Bucket. So if you want to help, Philip, 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 Philip. Right here is how you get in touch with our uh, tip jar. PayPalme.backslash. He doesn't fit. Frank and <laughs> Allie. So, but we're really happy that you're here with us in our home. Because it would just really not be too much fun if you weren't here with us. So. That's right. We love to practice, but you know, usually when we're sitting around practicing at home, we're just like moving off and uh, scratching around on some fiddles and stuff. It's not very listenable, so <laughs> it's nice to be able to, to really perform and, um, and talk to you all. Sorry, I, I'm not able to really respond to any comments, so I will, uh, after the broadcast, I'll go back and, and reply to everybody. Um, you want to do some When I Was a Cowboy? Well, I could. I'm kind of, yeah, yeah. Okay. That'd be the smartest thing to do. <laughs> you want to do things that are smart. Well, uh, we're pretty grateful today for, for
for our daughter. Our daughter Willow is six uh, years old, and she came to homeschool with Allie today um, in her princess dress. So she she came over from her mother's house this morning, and um, I'm stepmom, and uh, she was in her yellow princess gown, ready to learn. So. Um, if you have something that you're grateful for today, we'd love to hear what you're putting a smile on your face out there. Uh, put it in the comments, please. Let's share some gratitude and some joy. So here comes a piece called When I Was a Cowboy. And we learned from uh, Lead Belly. And so you've all heard of the folk singer Lead Belly. And this is a song he wrote about when he was a cowboy. And it's on our newest CD. It goes one, two, three. So just get online and overnight you a banjo. 
I have it ready by Wednesday. There you go. We learned this piece from Blind Willie Johnson, the same fellow we learned everybody ought to treat a stranger right from. We've got a t-shirt Frank has made back here that we are selling on our website that has his picture on it. We hope you all have a great night, and we hope we see you again real soon. This is called Come and Go With Me. Thank you.